Welcome to the tutorial about sounds. I went, of course, to ArchWiki and we looked for the word sound and we found sound system and we uh, need to read all this. We need to read all this. The Arch sound system consists of several levels, drivers, interface, API, so application, programming, interface and stuff like that. Optional, whoops, skip it. A default Arch installation already includes the kernel sound system also, and lots of utilities for it can be installed from the official repositories. If you want additional features, switch to OSS or install sound servers. The advanced Linux sound architecture also, a Linux kernel component and so on. I'll let you read it. Let's skip to some words. Pulse Audio is the one that's interesting. A very popular sound server usable by most common desktop Linux applications today. Correct. You can click on here and read some more. But anyway, I see here this little thing here. It says, in my eyes, it says, ah, pseudo pacman minus s pulse audio. Right. So let's first uh, get to our system here. We have this folder, Arch Merged. We copy or we git cloned, copy paste, this is not the correct term, but we cloned it from here. We went to Arch Merge Linux and we went to AMD Budgie and we git cloned this thing here by clicking here and then git clone control V. And we have this folder and the folder is here. Now the folder that's in here is yet up to date. Let's have a look. Is already up to date. So if it's not up to date and you see look Eric has changed something and there you go okay then you go right mouse click open in terminal and you say git pull and you get the latest things from me on your system so you get again the copy paste from the net to your system and you can compare what I have what you have and figure out the issue but we're making a new one for ourselves and the new one from ourselves is on this account so no nice icon up here nice icon up here so this means this is the arch merch linux account and this is you anybody no this is you and you have already we made already three four tutorials so we are here in the phase of making our sound work okay how will we proceed we can copy paste but let's not copy paste and make a new one we can start from any of these things as long as you have the set minus e on top of it i'll show you right now so i think i gave it a number 110 that's the sound so first make sure that the lightm budgie desktop is online then get your sound then get the, that's why the numbering it's a con um, consecutive uh, order all right um we do not want all the theming in there but so uh, that goes out but we need to have sound okay let's save that I'm ready for the sound and then we're going to analyze so it seems we're going to need information about where did i find it already uh, pulse audio this one pseudo pacman minus s pulse audio so we get to write pseudo pacman minus s pulse audio that's something we're gonna need save anything else pulse audio that's going to be our sound server. So it is something that's in, in the back end that's doing some services actually. We skip all these things, all uh, possibilities. What else are we going to need? We're going to need some drivers from Alsa as well. We could follow that link already. Provides kernel driven sound card drivers. It replaces the original open sound system. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. We scroll to the installation. Alsa is etc. Manual installation is not necessary. We could install Alsa Utils. This contains the utilities, the Alsa Mixer, the A Mixer. Um, maybe we need it, maybe we don't. It depends on the 
system we're on. If you need high quality resampling, install the LSAP plugins. And here it's going to be choices. If you have sound, you have sound. Um, then you don't need to install, so you can be very minimalistic about it, or just say whatever, I'll install it, you never know, then I can use it. So let's take another line, this is going to be the ALSA line. So we're gonna need ALSA utils, we want that one, and I thought it was called ALSA plugins as well. Okay. What else do we need? We need also, let's save this as well. Also, utils, also plugins, also firmware is down here somewhere. Package contains firmware, may, may be required, so it may not be required. But making an ISO almost makes it required for me to install it. So I did install it on Arch Merch. So that's one. And there is still one that's in my list that I don't see right away. Control find also lip is something I've installed, which is not down here in this page. Which is usually found in also lip package, but it can also be reached here. So it's mentioned just once, but it's installed nevertheless. Let's have a look if it can be installed. Yeah. So these are the things we could install. Also firmware, lip, plugins, utils, and we have installed as well. Okay, fine. Correct. Then another thing that I missed, that I missed somewhere. So the utilities are there, the firmware is there. Okay. One back, I guess. Pulse Audio, where are you? Here it is. So if you go in here, we can use Pulse Audio, did that. This I will do in the Bluetooth uh, section. Um, and all the rest is not needed. Then there are front ends. In Budgie, I don't need Pavu Control. I use it in Openbox and XFCE. But I could use Pub Refs as well and others. I am looking for a specific one. Let's go find it then. So Pulse Audio is actually enough because you don't know what you're looking for. And let's click here. So these are all the Pulse Audio elements. And here you have something that I want to install. The Pulse Alsa. Some confusion may can be made between uh -huh. also includes both Linux kernel component and Saga and Space Guerrilla. Pulse Audio builds only the kernel component but also offers compatibility with the ALSA through. Okay, so this is a compatibility kind of thing. If you want to have many people uh, be able to, to listen to your music, just install the Pulse Audio also, Eric, and hope for the best. So that's another thing I'm going to install. which I may not need on my system. So be minimal about it. Try one thing. Okay, no sound. Try another thing. Okay, now I've signed. Then it's okay for you. Not okay for the rest in the world. So um, we've made our decisions. Do we need more? Um, we forgot Alsa Lib no, still. Alsa Library probably. And then it's up to you if you want to press a lot of Yeses and so on. So if you want to have no confirm behind it, it's my preference to do it. So don't want to confirm. It's yes all the time. Otherwise, I wouldn't run the script. And it's uh, if it's already there, don't install it. That's the needed. And there is thing, still something I want to add. And those are the GST plugins, good and so on and bad. Let's have a look where they are. 
I don't think we'll find it on here, but come and try anyway. GST. Aha, there they are. Install. Plugins good are good plugins from AOR if you're intent to have a legacy, legacy G streamer implementation. Again, if it works for you, fine, don't install it. If it doesn't work for you, you need to install it. So there are packages here called GST plugins good. And there are more. There are more. So I've just made sure that everything is in there in the hopes that everybody listens to some good music. Plugins, good plugins, bad plugins, bass, good, and then plugins, ugly. The G streamer, and then no confirm. We take everything with us. And that's the last line of code we need. And there we are. So we were looking at this line. I hope there's some more information available. Control find GST streamer. Is that it? I guess so. We can always Google, but then I have to really say Google rather than DuckDuckGo. Like so. Let's see what we get. Get rid of this. Oops. Get rid of that. Like so. So the plugin base information, how to install GStreamer. Of course, let's put Arch Linux in front of it. And then we have this GStreamer Arch Wiki. That's probably gonna help. Yeah, that's it. So bad plugins that need more quality, testing more documentation, base, essential, and so on, good quality plugins and ugly. It supports by the and the GST plugins good is something I could install as a package. Mm -hmm. Do they say what's in there? Required by a lot of elements. Like so. And that's it. That and some more information if you want to. What is GStreamer? A library for constructing, etc. Supports a range of formats. As you can see, OGG, Forbis to stream, and your video processing is done that way. And that's what this GStream is all about. So open source multimedia framework. Great. We set everything up. We save everything. We say the script is ready to run. And we open it here with open in terminal. I'm afraid I already ran the script, but we'll run it anyway. So it says, hey, everything is in order. So it skips everything. And um, that's it. That's how you figure it out. How you find out how to proceed with all these issues on Arch Linux. Enjoy it.